we're back. Day two here on the Salmon River in Idaho. I saw racing in the house. What do you got going on, man? Just checking, checking some MoTeC data? Checking up on Dave, making sure he didn't tear everything up yesterday. That's some <laughs> service. I know he was juicing everywhere. This dude flying by us like we're standing still doing 70 and shit. It's just so fast. It's such a fast bike. <laughs> you rode in it. I, mean, I did. You know, I like, did. It's got power everywhere. It does. 30 to 70, like, quick. Snap of a finger. Quick. Well, I'm just checking all the parameters. Just checking, yeah, making sure all the temps were good. Air fuel's good. I did a really long pull at high speed, just probably not really long, but quarter mile, and the temps got up to like two at the most. I don't see anything hot yet. Good. Yeah. Turn key, boat, straight out of RS racecraft. Sweet. Hell yeah, these guys are getting it. Will's uh, getting his backup drones yesterday. He earned another teardrop. Oh, as we saw oh. in the first episode. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he lost a drone. Nick's just like putting off uh Yeah. Ladies he's taking, sorry. This has gotta be bitching. Yeah, that's pretty fun. So we got our practice ride. On last what? night. We got our practice on yeah, last night. I think you're gonna take the drone up today. You saw my skills, dude. Yeah. I can do backflips and barrel rolls. What's up, dude? How are you? Blake. Troy. I met you yesterday, but we're, gonna see, we're introducing you to the people, dude. Hi, everybody. He's, I'm Nick uh, Nelson's partner. Nick Nelson's partner. Business partner. Not the gay partner. <laughs> One thing that's cool about here is with the mini boats, the mini boats get respected because a lot of the, the mini boat people up here, they will actually rescue or save or help anyone in danger, which is awesome, which everyone should always do. I know in like Colorado, people haven't really seen these. So when we went to Grand Junction, they're like, get the hell off the river. Here, they're like, they're like, let's go, do something cool. Like, get crazy, give us some wakes. Like, um, excite us because, yeah, it's just, it's just different. And it's exciting and it's cool to see people supporting it. Some more campers showed up here at our camp site area, which is rad. Nick's boat's charging. Um, this thing was juicing all day yesterday. Zero issues. He was skying it. Here's another watch craft. Give you guys a little inside look at this. Boom. She's a juicer. Full stereo. They have custom pumps as well. Clean little custom aluminum trailer. That thing's probably light. But this is our morning. Uh, we're gonna go get started um, on a bridge shot where, where Will's gonna dive bomb this mountain, fly through a bridge, um, pick us up on the river, kind of like what we did with the SoCal shred shoot, and go from there. I always like to end it with something awkward with Will. No, it's funny. You got no talent in those things. <laughs> Alligator, catch you off the riverbank, motherfucker. All right, later. Hey, do you have the key? No. The key. I didn't take your key. What? I didn't take your key. Just kidding. Hey, Will, did you grab? Uh, did you grab the? Look at this. That perfectly balanced, nice red rock. That's a rock I'm bringing home to my rock garden, Shay. You've seen it here. This is our rock, the frog rock. That's a beautiful color too. I like it. That's a lot of frogs. That's a lot of frogs. So, Try not to step so on tiny. Dude, there's thousands of them, man. Yeah? 
And there's like tadpoles everywhere too. You know what a tadpole turns into? Frog. You're smart, that's easy. Today we got uh, Will on the racing drone. He's gonna be shredding, flying down these crazy ass mountains, dropping down to the canyon level, down to under the bridge and following the drone along at like 40, 50 miles an hour. So I'm pretty stoked for that. And we've got a bony section of rapid that the three boats are gonna go, hopefully three wide, each having their own line up through the white water. So and then we're, we're gonna, gonna go to another there. zone that that's um, really cool. on the other side of town. There's two massive rapids over there that are pretty spicy. So we're gonna see if the boats aren't airborne a little bit. maybe class four white water rapid. And the water is moving rapidly fast. Maybe that's why it's called a white water rapid. What the fuck? Dude, is that some salami? Yeah, that's Dude. for you. Uh -huh. yeah. You, 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 you probably didn't get to eat anything today, so. I did not. Run, that water is called? moving All right, fast. so this is called Fiddle Creek Rapid. Legend has it, it swallowed many a boat. They're gonna come ripping right through here, ideally, and oh, hit these rollers and uh, hopefully treat them like whoops. Maybe get a little Cindy. Take a look. That's gnarly. Yeah. That's the slammer there, bud. Alabama <laughs> you can slow slammer. your back out on that one. Yeah. <laughs> you could probably jump it this way, but then there's another one right there where- Yeah, you can't tell this one is. Yeah, that one's deep. That's like a four foot roller though. Why don't, why don't we go stand down here? It's like that. Is that the one you sent me a picture of? Yeah. Trying to. Yeah. That was, that was it. Yeah. I was like, all right, let's send it to Blake. See you think. <laughs> you up? Yeah. We have, so far we haven't sunk. No, Only... I was trying to give you transparent information. Transparent. transparent information, so he can make his own decision on this shit. Camera guys don't decide this stuff. We can put and him down there. What's your decision? It's gonna be like. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, man. Fucking. <laughs> Just blow out the rest yeah. of the front of the boat. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Rust. Yeah, I don't have did you see the front of my boat? Hey man. Yeah, we're not just done. Putting I'm the just, down on some of them. We're just doing what these boats are made to do. If you have a pristine boat, like Dave, Worst case scenario, you're, we have you're acting like a pussy. Yep. Let's check it out. Oh damn, there's a lot of rock here. We lost a bunch of water, dude. Lost a lot of water on this one. Since we got it here. was bigger when we scouted it, but 
Yeah, but look at all those boulders. There's not that. There's not much lines through that shit. Yeah. Look at that. We got these two guys. Hey man. Filming, 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 yeah. filming. You guys need filming a guy, filming a guy, filming a guy. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys need a vlog camera. It's so much easier. Yeah. These We're reds awesome. and black magics, and I got a Sony. I don't even know what model number it is. You got the potato. You're rocking the whole way down. Yeah, that's the yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's rock it up. All right, you want to do it? I'm Hopefully. down. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, where else are we gonna go? Yeah, he said to go down the van stuff. Oh shit. <laughs> What's that? The, yeah, I think the, man, the, the big man rapids we're gonna go to, to, to tomorrow. So that's like the only thing that'll be left still. You wanna just go to that now is what they're saying? I think we well, should go check that first thing in the morning. Should we go check it out but right now? Whatever we'll do. We can't see it from the road, but we can put boats and I can run you guys down there if you wanna look at it. So you're talking about the Fiddler thing? So if we do Fiddler, we would go back to the next launch. Right? Well, if they wanna go scout, if you guys wanna go scout this run, we would need two boats. We'd need a couple boats and they'd need a full tank of gas. Do we have any gas with us? Yeah. yeah. I don't really think we need to scout it. Let's just go. Yeah, we usually it. just shoot it. We're gonna yeah. go. Yeah, go. You can't it. see it from the road, so how are they gonna get there? We're gonna, we're gonna have to shuttle. We're gonna have to shuttle them in boat. That's why he's got oh. more dudes coming tomorrow yeah. to help us move people in and out. Yeah. yeah. So we, we'll put Will and Blake in boats. And get down there. Like get in the shit. This is some desolate shit right here, and I like it. We're going into the unknown. The belly of the beast. The belly of the beast. We got this guy. The belly of the beast. So how much <laughs> gnarly is the belly of the beast? It's just a lot of fun yeah, stuff, one right after the other. Bottom. There's not a bunch of there's just not a bunch of frog water in between. So it's just one fun thing after really? another. It's how long is that stretch? We need all the fuel. Twenty-five miles? Twenty-five miles? We're gonna do fifty round trip. We'll be fine. Every one of us can do fifty miles. Oh yeah, for sure. We're gonna, he said to take like if we take if we fill up the boats, take some gas, drop it, like go down a little bit on the beach. Okay. Then when coming back, then you can dump five on the way back up there. Where is the place that the truck the place the truck could meet us? Strategic. Like, I really think it would I mean we've done so good with the amount of film we got this fast. I think it would do everybody good, get home, get a good dinner, good sleep, and then go really hard tomorrow on It's only like two o'clock. But this stuff, so tomorrow's gonna be a long day of big 50 stuff. Miles That's what I'm down. saying. Like 50 miles at. And we get an earlier start, be ready. Hell, we got the stuff at, you know, be packed and just go. We can get a lot of stuff. So, top off fuel tonight. and go back into town. I'm totally down. If, out, like, if one more boat wants, wants to go, I love that stretch. We can go 50 miles. gas up and we can dump, dump down there and check it out. And you guys can see if, what you want to shoot and what you don't. And we can come back and make a plan. Either that or we can go back to the house where we have Wi Fi. And we can do it all on Google Maps. Yeah. Check this out. Longhorn sheep. Sir William Thomas. <laughs> Man, this place is cool. There's bears and deers and elk and shit. And we're going over some logistics for tomorrow. Ronnie, being the local, is showing us what's up. It's basically nothing. Now, if we got fucked, right, we'd have to drag it to the We'd have to drag us whatever carcass down, right, to Ryan's place, and we could we could stow shit on Ryan's beach, and he has, he has an airstrip. And we could get an airplane in there to pick us up and get us out of there, Whoa. or or we could get a big boat up to Ryan's place. An airplane, and, and get in there. And He's not fucking there's a there's a helipad in his cabin too. Right on. So we're we're gonna, we have options for recoveries. Helipad, mm -hmm. dude, that's intense. That's <laughs> how jet boat works. I just kind of want to like. Can we have like a quick release pin to where they like just pull it and drop me in the river there? Just, just drop you. Just drop me, dude. Drop it down the side of one of the mountains to the river. Roll around the back of the C-130. <laughs> That'd be sick. Hey, that's the next one, next one. Reserve the heli now, optic. Done. Where you at? You ready to drop the boat some sketchy shit? Paraglide it. So this is a little recon for tomorrow, huh? Absolutely. Basically, we're going about 20 miles deep on the salmon to the very lower part of it where it meets the Snake River. 
Okay. Not quite that far to the confluence, but about 20 miles from where the boat launch we're in and back. So 40 miles total trip with about 30 rapids. There you go, Mike. I, I, Dude, I've watched Snow, snow Hole, Hole a few times on YouTube, so I know that one. Oh yeah, you know rapid huh? with rafters on it, and it's oh. spooky. Recon. This is like pre-running right now. If we do happen to something happens, then we're gonna have to get hellied out. It's that's how intense this is getting. That's how intense it's getting. Helicopters, airplanes. That's the only way out. <laughs> oh shit! No, it's not bad. Oh, yeah, Honestly, I think we could tow all the way out to the I, th snake. I know we can tow to the snake, yeah, yeah, so it won't be at the end of the day if something's yeah. busted. Oh, wow. Well, there you have it. A little inside look at the recon, the strategics going into this, and I must bear to tell you, we are not scared. <laughs> In Volkswagen? I think this is a 180 right here. Ooh. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Ron Dog just getting it. Yep. Sorry, that's epic. That was fun. And we're watching some Mav TV. Whoa, that buggy whip's bright. Look at that. Ooh, you had some anamorphic lens shots. Yeah, look at that. That looks majestic, huh? Blake and Rachel are getting some stills. We're gonna go run, uh, run the boat in the water. Um, some skinny water at night and it is straight glass out here right now like like you can see the reflection of the mountains and shit it's awesome but just showcasing some of the rugged light or rugged rigid lights um, we got the interior cab lights on the switch pros on the front uh, bow lights are on the buggy light buggy whip lights are on and the rear chase lights are on so we're winding down the day with this after dumping footage and all this other crazy stuff. Nick cooked a bomb, bomb boil, um, a seafood, seafood, seafood boil. Tired, I'm stuttering, and uh, ready to go rip this thing. You can't really tell how dark it is by this, but it's much darker than this camera is showing. And uh, we're gonna go play. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 